Would you not have a glass of milk? It'd be better for you than that. Gone off milk all of a sudden. You were drinking it last week. I know, but now I can't stand the taste of it. Even the mention of it. Yeah, you're not going to start puking in here, are you? I don't think so. David, she calling this morning sickness. I'm having it morning, noon and night. Yeah, I know. It's awful. What do you mean, you know? It's awful. You haven't a clue. Yeah, well, I think you look great. Blooming, isn't that what they say? Here. Read this. The bloke's 100 top tips for surviving pregnancy. How to stay abreast of physical changes in your partner's appearance. Just read the bloody book, will you? Oh. I have to get to the loo. How are you? Oh, hi, Keith. Um, Renee, can I get two G&Ts, please? Yes, yeah, sure. Thanks a million. And the doubles already? No, um, one's for Neve. All right. How's she? Well, you can ask her yourself. She's in shortly. All right. Girl's not out yet. No. Double date. All right. It's nice. Mm. We'll be. So I have to see my own doctor tomorrow, and then on Thursday I've got the scan. Right. How's the sickness? It's not as bad as it was earlier. But you know what? It's smells that are getting to me. Smells. Yeah. My man was cooking chops tonight and I nearly puked. I think I'm going off me. I'll ask the doctor about it tomorrow. Don't know what to drink. Orange juice is too acidy. What do you think? Keith? What? What do you think? Yeah, I think you should go and see a doctor. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, of course I am. He was asking about you? Oh, yeah, what did you say? I told him that he could ask you himself. I uh, also told him that we were going out on a double date. No reaction. Do you know what? Let's just get out of here, yeah? We're very eager. No, I'm just dying to see what the other brother looks like, that's all. Hmm. You didn't even give him a chance. I tell you, that is the last time I'm going out on a double date with you. Look, he was a, he was a nice guy, OK? Neve. He was gorgeous. He was, yeah. I just, just didn't, you know. Yeah, well, he couldn't be, could he? What? You don't, you don't even know what I was going to say. Um, he's not Keith. Uh, that, I know. Eve, the show is over. When are you just going to move on? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, when I saw him in the pub last night and he looked at me and... I don't I just felt something, you know? Look. That is all very well, but you have made your decision here. I know, but did I make the right one? Of course you did, Neve. Look, I am telling you, you don't want to get involved in all that kid stuff and ex-partners, believe me. Yeah, no, I suppose. You suppose? No, you're right. I mean, you're right. Hey, it's just over at the doctor's. Everything all right? Yeah. yeah well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. I have to go for my scan tomorrow. You'll be able to get the time off, won't you? What, me? Yes. I sure you don't need me, do you? Fathers don't go to them sort of things, do they? Only if they want to, I suppose. I only... Why do you want to be part of this baby's life, or you don't? Oh, all right. Oh, right. Uh, Kate, you're coming over to McCoy's. You are coming out to Dunleary with us to give Leo a dig out, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am. Follow you over now. OK, see you. I have to go to Dunleary. Now? OK. Well, I'll meet you later. For what? To give you the details. But tomorrow. Right, OK, fine. Listen, I have to go. Right, see you. See you. There you go. Oh, thanks. Hey. Sorry, Charlie Mags. Can I get you the coffee? Ah, uh, no, thanks for more grand. Uh, listen, we better head back to our pitch. Yeah. OK, well, I'll see you later. See, see you. you. Bye. bye. OK, bye. Great team, aren't they? Yeah. I had to imagine one was out the other. They were just saying that, uh, oh, thanks, Mel. Bella's gone down to the waterfront to be with Leo. I can't imagine what he's gone through. Mm. Yeah, myself and Lana were pretty close. At least that's the way it looked. Do you think there's just one person for everyone? Don't know. I hope not. What does that mean? Well, my track record. Yeah. <laughs> thanks very much. Sorry, I was talking about my own. 
I mean, it's hardly the cottage with the hanging roses at the front happy ending, is it? I meant, do you think there's just that one person that you have that special connection with? You know, you're beginning to sound like a Mills and Boone novel. I was thinking about Liam. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I know that. Right, yeah, I just, but that kind of makes you think, doesn't it? About what? We should appreciate the people that we're with when we're with them. Actually, you know, I think maybe we should split up. Do you want to go across the road and I'll see you? Yeah, sure. So, have you got any plans for this evening? No, not much. You? Oh, just meet Norla. Brave is spot on. What? He said I'd find you here. Yeah. Hi, Neve. Uh, the scan is at two tomorrow, so I reckon if you pick me up at, say, quarter past one? Yeah, sure. Right, I, listen, I was just leaving so you can have my seat here now. I'll, I'll see you, Keith. Uh, see you, thanks. See you, Neve. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Bye. see you. See you, Jedrick. Just an orange juice. The doctor said that'd be fine. Thanks. You what? I uh, spent the day with Keith. Do you think that was a wise move? Well, no, it just kind of, well, you know, just fell into place. Oh, well, I suppose you had absolutely nothing got to do with that, Neve. Well, no, I suppose I could have insisted on squashing into a car with Max and Charlie and Barry. Yes, Neve, you could have, if you knew what was good for you. But I had a lovely time. With Keith? So tell me, Neve, where is he now? He's with Una. My point, exactly. No, Paula, OK? It felt really good, just hanging out together and spending time together. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend that it didn't. Yeah? Yeah, we were able to be really, really honest with each other, and maybe for the first time. Oh, honest? All oh, right. So that's why you left McCoy's as soon as Una appeared. No, I had an arrangement with you, actually. Oh. OK, do you know what? You're right. But I'm not going to feel guilty about it, all right? I just couldn't bear the thought of him going to the hospital with Una. My baby. Neve. It is always going to be like that. You know what? Yourself and Jimmy should go in with her. You're both exactly the same. Someone mentions kids and you both go bleeding gaga. He's going on and on all day about how I'm going to see my own baby, and it'll be a life-changing moment. There it is. Would you snap out of it? It's a blur. I've seen pictures from the scans. They're just a blur. Now, if that's a life-changing moment, you didn't have much of a life to begin with. Yeah, but it's a lot different when it's your own. Then they'd be able to tell you if it's a boy or a girl, if you want to know. Ah, hey, you, Una. Uh, it's suiting you. Don't know about that, Ray. You hiding on me? No, I was waiting for you here. You said rainbows. Did I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, well, uh, you know, he's not with it today. All he can think about is the scan. All right? Oh. Come on, then. All right. See you later. It's on your sheet. You don't want to know the sex? No. No. I can see it. Oh, look, I can see it. Look, see the head. Look, see it. Oh, I can't. Oh. That's the heartbeat. What's wrong? I'll just get Dr. Sparrow to have a look. I'll be one moment. It's all right. 